Hey, you playa, if you're watching this, chances are that you haven't had your first kiss yet, and you're hoping that magical moment is gonna happen sometime soon. Well, you're not alone. 60% of the guys that I asked on my channel said they've never been kissed before. So what is the big secret? How do you make your first kiss happen? Let me tell you. In your mind, you've probably built up how you think your first kiss is gonna go. Maybe it looks something like this. You look at this person, they look away. They look at you, you look away. But then suddenly, you lock eyes. You lean in forward. The two of you kiss and sparks fly everywhere. It's a magical moment. Both of you are in love. Everything is wonderful. Hate to break it to you, buddy, but that's usually not how a first kiss goes. You're nervous. Things are awkward and weird. It's your first time doing this. So why would you just somehow be an expert? I think when we fall into this fantasy of the perfect first kiss, we end up setting ourselves up for failure. We forget that a kiss is only part of the journey in getting to know someone. If you're hyper-focused on everything in this moment just going right, then all you're gonna do is build up more anxiety on your shoulders. You're gonna hold out and wait for the right time to actually go for the kiss with that person, thereby missing your opportunity again and again because it's not ideal. I say this from experience. There were countless number of times when I was younger where I'd be with a girl that I liked and I knew she liked me back, but I hesitated. I didn't act on the moment to kiss her because it wasn't the right environment or I didn't really build up to it or I didn't know what to say to lead into that kiss. Every possible reason to hold myself back, I threw it out there and I missed those chances. Your first kiss might not be the best and that's okay. Instead, worry about your second kiss and your third and your fourth and your fifth and everything else you build with that person going forward because as you gain more experience and build your comfort level with that person, you're gonna remove some of that anxiety and not worry so much about everything having to be totally the way you want it to. But let's say you're in a scenario where there is no one on the horizon. There is no potential prospects for you to even kiss. Your love life is just a tumbleweed rolling on by. There could be a lot of different contributing factors that make it hard for you. Maybe it's partly your looks or your social skills or your level of confidence. Each of these are things you can individually work on. But the one piece that I always recommend to people to truly focus on is to continue to put themselves out there to meet more people. Part of getting to that first kiss is playing the numbers game. The more people that you can meet, interact with, flirt with, and really start to see if there's someone you can form a deep connection with, the easier it's gonna be for you to actually meet someone that can lead to that first kiss. But if you're being super, super selective, you're only pursuing individual people that you have this instant attraction to, you're really gonna make it harder for yourself to get to that point. Are you actively going to social events and activities? Are you meeting people that are friends of friends? Are you trying online dating? There's lots of different ways to bring more people into your circle. But if you're just gonna kind of hold off and wait for that perfect person to come by, it's not gonna happen. To simplify it and put it bluntly, if you wanna get some action, you need to take some action. You need to step outside of your boundaries, you need to push yourself to be more social, you need to get out there to actually find that person. And as you embark on this journey to get your first kiss, you are constantly going to be bombarded by other people doing it all the time and succeeding with ease, which might make you a little bit jealous. Those feelings of jealousy are something else. You might fall susceptible to constantly comparing your journey to other people, wondering why is it so easy for everyone else to find love but me? Why can't I just have my first kiss? Why am I so behind every single person that I know? I get your frustration, it is not easy, and yet everyone wants to make it seem like it is. Like you can just walk out the door, meet someone, have your first kiss, and move along. But it's not that simple. In those moments of anger and jealousy and frustration at that person, not even at that person, but just the fact that it's so easy for them and not you, it can help sometimes to talk about your feelings with people that you can trust. There's no magic just get over it pill. What you're feeling is valid and real, but I want you to also know that feelings that are mentionable are manageable. Talking to someone you can trust about how you feel, it's gonna allow you to vent, it's gonna allow you to share, it's gonna allow you to let go of that frustration so you're not walking around constantly carrying it. Or maybe that's talking with a close friend or in the comments down below or in our Discord community where you can meet other people that have similar stories to your own. Sharing is a fundamental part of the healing process. As you work towards this journey of getting your first kiss, Talking to other people about what you're feeling and hearing their stories is gonna make you realize you're not alone on this journey. 
that note, I'll catch you next time. As always, love and peace.